It's important to start this off by saying I had zero intention of filming today and I was going to skip yet another day in Vlogus. I don't know how to explain it any other way than after the competition I kind of allowed myself to be in this funk and it's only been four days and there's been worse funks for sure. Part of the positives of being an emotional person is that when you're on an emotional high, nothing can stop you. You are going, 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 going and it doesn't matter what anyone says or anyone does, you're not going to be stopped. The negatives are when you're down and even though I was trying to be positive and even though I was trying to um, keep the ball moving and understand that this isn't define me and this isn't me, it's still hard and I didn't want to appear fake. And I thought, I don't have the energy today to do this. I don't have the energy to, to be positive. And so I decided I wasn't going to vlog. Truth is, I actually don't have a lot of time um, because I gotta get ready, gotta change, gotta shower. I didn't shower after I worked out. Um, and then I'm going to Taco Tuesday tonight because uh, Sam's best friend is leaving to Texas. So we're celebrating and we're saying bye. Guess what I decided to do? Vlog. Yeah. I was so far down in the dumps. I was so just bummed. I didn't even want to go to work today. I woke up and seriously contemplated for like two hours. I'm just gonna call out. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go. I also skipped the gym in the morning, which is why I had to get it in at my lunch. Cause I just was just not motivated at all. You want to know what helped me get out of this funk? Mew. So you see, I was already embarrassed to post that competition video because first, no one likes to finish last place and then second of all, no one likes to finish last place and then post a video where over 2,000 people watch it, which is why I went out and just titled it last place because I didn't want people to watch it and have these great expectations and then see me embarrass myself so I was already embarrassed to do that and then the next day I had to come out with the video and I was already still kind of bummed about it so then I felt like I had to create this like positive video but I wasn't feeling it and so I felt like it came through in the video and I don't want to be someone who puts out fake stuff so I contemplated deleting that video like four times. I even had Sam watch through it and I was like, should I put this up? Does it seem fake? She's like, no, it's fine. I was like, I don't know, I don't like it. But then you guys came through. Literally every comment has been encouraging, has been just like more than I could have asked for. And by reading the comments from the video, from the competition, reading the comments the day after, it just really brought a lot of goodness. It brought a lot of like, realizing that I don't need to be the best athlete, right, to have this YouTube channel and I don't need to be the best out there and win and podium all the time. That This community that we're building is focusing on health and fitness in every aspect of your life, not just the competitions. So being encouraged by that, realizing that I don't need to be someone fake was enough for me to kind of break out of this like funk, break out of this weird thing and be encouraged and be excited to film again. So after all those comments, after that encouragement, I knew, Noah, I'm sticking to this. I'm sticking to this vlog, and I'm filming anyway. Man, I just wanted to say thank you, like from the bottom of my heart. You guys did, and you guys, you were sending me DMs, you were commenting, you were just doing all the stuff, and it really, it, like, it was, it fed here, it fed the heart, and so I really appreciate it. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you so much and I'm excited for this community that we're building. I'm excited for what we are going to do on this YouTube channel. Okay, so now that all that sappy stuff is out of the way, we got a goodbye dinner to go to. Are you ready? Let's do this. The taco shop is in a place called PB. Um, by the beach it's here in San Diego. Taco shop. Oh, uh, the way we're going for Taco Tuesday is in a place, PB. <sighs> it smells like you forgot about a pair of clothes in the bottom of the hamper for a couple months and then you took it out. That's like how the whole city smells all the time. It's college beach, okay? <laughs> Okay.
Okay, you just said goodbye to your best friend. How do you feel? Sad. Taco Tuesday was fun. But I miss her already. I know you guys hugged for like 10 minutes. You know, and it wasn't long enough. And uh, we're done, and now we are. We're done for the night. Left. Yeah, we were using their light. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good night. <laughs>